All right, tonight we're talking about case statements. Um, we're going to start off with a simple case. I created a couple of simple tables uh, with first name, last name, and then phone numbers. <coughs> and uh, we're going to go through and do a simple case for starters. Um, let's see, first name, last name is name, and then phone number equals. And a uh, couple of interesting things. Now, with a simple case... Now, I've, I've never heard of case before. What is it? <laughs> never heard of case, okay. Well, it's uh, simplified if statements. Instead of putting together several if statements, you can have just one statement that evaluates uh, s several criteria against one piece of data. So it's like in case, in case you get this value. Yeah, that's a better way to put it than I did. You friggin' show off. Anyway, so <laughs> in this case, <laughs> uh, we're looking at cell phone, and we want to know a little bit about it. Now, um, I found out a couple. Well, well, we'll take what you can do first. Why is there a red line under cell phone? Because it's not pretty. I don't know. We'll take what you can do first. Um, when you, you say case cell phone, you're comparing cell phone against some value. So when cell phone is equal to this value, then I'm going to say it's a fake number and print out the cell phone itself. So let's go ahead and run that. Lovely. We've got one fake number. Jennifer Hudson gave us a fake number. Shame on her. Um, so that's, that's specifically what you could do with a simple case is only, you know, this is equal to this. Um, as it turns out, you can't um, say when cell phone is like something because that's not a simple equals. Um, this has to be a value, not a, a statement. You said you sounded like you were going to make a comment. No, I'm not sure I understand. What do you mean? Why does it have to be an equal? Well, because that's the limitation of a simple case statement. Um, you're saying that this is equal to, you know, you may as well mentally put an equal sign right there. And you can't say cell phone equal to like 877. Oh, I see. It's not possible. So there's one thing you can't do with it. Uh, another thing you can't do with it, and this is kind of fun, you can't compare it against a null, which sounds kind of odd, but, you know, um, most of us are familiar with is null, right? And we have is null because you can't say that one null is equal to another. Null is an unknown value. So nulls can't be equal. Um, if cell phone is null and you try to say equal null, it's going to, okay, fine. It's supposed to give you an error. Hang on. Okay, sorry. No, I was expecting an error, but that doesn't make sense. Um, you'll see that it that this when statement of the case didn't actually work. We have some nulls in here, but it did not print not available. It didn't go to here. It just gave you, it went to the else and said else cell phone, which is null. Um, because again, you can't say that a null is equal to null, so this statement is simply not true. Okay. I just noticed you've got like American Idol people in your results set. That's really stupid. You're stupid. Well, I just random names. But anyway, let's move on to any questions? Mm, nothing that won't get me hit. Okay, fair enough. Let's move on to the searched case, uh, which is slightly more complicated. That's why we've got the simple and some, something else. Um, okay, define for me, because mm -hmm. I'm not very good with like official terms or anything what the difference between a regular case and a searched case is, because that sounds awfully scientific. Well, to jump back to the simple case for a moment, it, uh, that's really what it is, is a simple case. You're taking one single parameter and you're saying, does it equal this? No. Does it equal this? No. Well, else, go ahead and return this value. Um, in a searched case, I hate to be too tautological here, but you're, you're searching for the right answer. You've got a, a more complicated set of criteria. You can take, um, you can compare different inputs um, to different statements, um, do a number of other things. We'll, we'll jump down here in just a minute and, uh, and show more, but I, I don't know how to put it much better than that because simple is simple and because in search you're doing more with it. And okay. And we, I kind of went over it just there, but I, I just realized I haven't necessarily answered what is a case. Um, from a very basic standpoint, and 
a case, you, you can use it in a number of places right now, we're using it in a select clearly, um, to return a value based on, um, you know, your, your, a series of tests. Um, in, we'll go back to the simple case, you're saying, you're taking cell phone, you're going to say, okay, what does this equal? Does it equal no? Well, we saw that that doesn't work. Does it equal, I'll go ahead and uncomment that, uh, if it equals this, we'll return this value. If we've stepped through each one of these when clauses and none of them are true, we'll go to else and then return the else value that we've provided. And else is optional, um, but um, you, you wind up using it a lot. Looks like it's good for catching everything you didn't, everything you forgot to code. Yeah, everything you forgot to code. Um, but it also looks like it's, uh, um, it would be used for like, uh, uh, it would be used for displaying uh, friendly data, where like like if you've got, uh, um, dare I say the word, ignorant users, and you want to display you know true and false where one and zero is being returned or yeah sure you can or, translate data for the yeah, user is what if you're trying got, to say like, region codes you know absolutely. 387 and 487 and translate those into Tennessee and absolutely. Southwest or something like that right yeah so okay okay so the first thing we're and I, I this whole thing came about because I was messing about with union and union all doing something else um, that's why that's still in there but. Uh, in this first half of the select statement, um, we just want, we've got three fields, cell, home, and work phone, and we want at least one of them, we want one of them to return. Now, you know, people don't always provide all three. Uh, so we'll, we'll go through our case statement and say, okay, if the cell phone is not null, we'll return that. And if that's true, that's, that's the end of it, and phone will be equal to whatever their cell phone is. Um, and ditto, if, it's, if cell phone is null, we'll go to home phone. If that's null, we'll go to work phone. You know, can you can you get away without naming it? Uh, without the alias? Yeah, um, I do believe you can. We'll go ahead and try that. Why, yes you can. Yeah, I figured you could. So we see that we've gone through, and I'll go ahead and rerun this because I like names on my columns. Um, <laughs> hey, what do you want? And everybody has a phone number except Stephen. He hasn't apparently provided with provided us with cell, uh, home, or work. Yeah, nobody wants to call him. Um, so, and down here, we've gone a, a different route. Route, sorry. <laughs> you turned British on me there. <laughs> gone a different route? Sorry, I've been watching House, so thinking in British. Um, and I said I want to test just the cell phone and think about that for a bit and say, okay, if we've got an 877 cell phone, then it's a toll-free number, which, come to think of it, doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Um, we've got something st that starts with one, two, three. It's got to be a fake number, so we'll write fake number in the what cell phone. Why doesn't the toll free make a lot of sense? Um, because I don't know that there are any toll free cell phones. I think those are all landlines. Oh, okay. But that's kind of outside of the scope of this discussion. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I evidently wasn't paying close enough attention that it was a cell phone that you were. Okay. Yeah, go ahead. sure. Because um, I'm reading down here where you just said phone. And yeah, the we're set. So if you just got phone in my house. What's wrong with eight seven seven? Yeah, we're we're, we're jumping elsewhere. Um, so we can run this, and I guess we should actually run it. If I'm going to say that. And yeah, we've got. Uh, why do we have nulls? Oh, you know that else clause I was talking about before? Um, I'll go ahead and explain what it is I did wrong here. What I had done before, just now, uh, I said, when cell phone is like this, then return this. Well, we've got some cell phone numbers that are not 877. We have some cell phone numbers that are not 123, and we have some cell phone numbers that are not null. However, I didn't have a case to deal with the situation where it's not null, not 877, not 123. When case doesn't find an answer that fits, it's just going to return null. Okay, so this is, still the <coughs> this is still the searched case? This is Yes, this is still the searched case. So it searched and didn't find. Oh, yeah, it didn't oh. find the answer, so it returns null, even though I, as the coder, want the phone number to show up. Yeah, sure. So okay. let's stick that That's else That's actually clause. kind of a logic problem. It would be kind of hard to find. Yeah, it? no kidding. <laughs> like, why? Why are these cell phones not there? 
Okay, so... You're so smart. You string up the sequel. Yeah, no kidding. So, yay, we've got a couple of not-availables, and we've got some other numbers, and we'll go ahead and... Okay, so you highlight the results set where I talk, so it keep me from pointing at the screen again. Yeah, okay. Um, well, just the, like the that first one. <coughs> First so that one, five, 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 that's yes. one that clearly wasn't covered in the above. Well, let's go ahead and make that a, a fake uh, no, phone number. No, 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 I'm just saying that's clearly one that wasn't covered before, and that's why it's showing up with a phone number now. Oh, I see, yeah. Because when you take that else out, that disappears, right? Yeah, I, I believe it is. Um, there you go, yeah, Bill Smith. <coughs> Thanks for not making that Will Smith, by the way. Yeah, well. Oh, he's your big star crush. <laughs> I wouldn't want to hurt your ego. Okay, that's that's about all we have on cases, I guess. Um, don't forget that your case does need to end with an end. Um, you can alias it, but you don't have to. But probably should. You probably should. Um, else is your friend. You don't always need it, but um, I think nine times out of ten you probably will. Um, and uh, I, I did want to go ahead and set up a future blog and say that um, we've we've got up here um, finding. A single returning a single phone number out of three different fields, and down here we've got a couple of special cases where, you know, we want a tag that's not available. It's a fake number. I started putting these two together, saying um, that let's return a phone number, and with that returned phone number, let's see if it's a toll-free or a fake or so forth. Uh, it's getting late. I'm not going to do it tonight, but um, I'll I'll work it out and come back uh, oh God, it's on another video. Yeah, well, it's Midnight DBA. But uh, that's all I got. Alrighty.